for hot live performance. Live mode is custom made for the stage. Optimized for highly detailed production tasks. Studio mode lets you fine tune the settings. To edit or play a single type of instrument, choose single mode. Set the Phantom G for any way you want to use it. Live mode, studio mode and single mode are designed for different playing environments. Just press a button to select the mode. From the sound source system and effect routine to playability features and control operations, the synth is optimized for how you want to play. Single mode optimizes the settings and functions for playing as a piano, organ, or other individual instrument, and for editing the instrument. More than 1,600 instruments are available. For easy selection, just open the patch list and choose your instrument from the listed categories, or use the dynamic pads to directly enter patch numbers. And magic controls make searching really fast. So, let's hear some of the great sounds you can get with single mode. Everyone thinks the Phantom G acoustic guitar sound is something special. It really is. First, this sound. Acoustic guitar with nylon strings. Hitting the keys more strongly. Next, I think you should try the organ sounds. So far, the organ sounds used on these kinds of workstations have not been strong enough for use by rock bands. And I get the feeling that some people don't care much for organ sounds. But this is pretty good. Have a listen. And of course, the piano sound is also great. Another thing, this keyboard gives you more than the usual plastic keys. It's called an ivory feel keyboard. It's got a great feel and is easy to play. Performers love a synth piano with this kind of advanced feature. Live mode is custom made for hot live performances on stage. Besides 512 preset live sets, it also enhances user live sets. Then there's Patch Remain, which lets you change patches without interrupting the release, sustain, and effects from the previous patch. On the LCD screen, you can display the keyboard layer split setting and clearly view the effects of the sliders, knobs, D-beam, aftertouch, and other controls. So, let me show you the advantages of live mode. What I like most about it is the patch remain function. What is it? Well, as I'm playing piano, on synths up to now, when you switch the patch, the piano sound gets clipped. This fixes that. You can hear the difference. I just switched the patch but the sound remains. Now listen to this. And now, the switch.
musical synth. The technology is truly amazing and will probably become standard on future synths. What live mode is really about is being able to play eight separate patches at the same time. And it's easy to do. It's so easy because this display gives you an incredible amount of information. You soon get a feel for how everything works. Let me give you an example. I've already set up a piano sound. Now let's layer some strings in. It's simple. All you do is this. Right now, part one is that acoustic piano sound. As part two, I want to add some strings. So, how do you do that? You press this patch list button. The patch list, sorted into categories, is shown on the screen. So you select strings, and from this huge library of sounds, you narrow down the list to only string sounds. I reckon one of the string patches around here will go well. So I highlight the string sound and select it as part two. Let's see what it sounds like. On top of that, how about a bell sound? For part three, let's try a bell patch. Press patch list, so the category list comes up. Select bells, and you get a lot of bells to choose from. From the list, I'm going for a sound that's been popular for a while. I think you can hear all three patches being played across all the registers. But there are times when you want the bells to play at the high end. That's also easy to set up. This is the screen for setting up the keyboard range. Just turn the dial and you can highlight how much of the keyboard you want to select. But I'll let you in on a shortcut that makes it even simpler. For example, say you want the bell to play only on notes that are higher than this sound. Just hold down the shift key while playing the note. That'll set the range for you. Let's hear what happens. Well, maybe we should make the strings a bit quieter and bring the bells up louder. You want to do the balance hands-on? That's what the sliders are for. That's part one. Piano for part one. Part two is strings. Let's bring the strings down. And part three, the bells. Even these quite complicated operations, as you can see, can be done intuitively. For me, that's what makes live mode so exciting. <laughs>